Yo, what's poppin'? What's good, man? It's Jamal Way, man. I'm back with a new video. Yes, sir, man. So, look, I'm about to give y'all some reaction videos because that's what I want to do on my YouTube channel. I hope that y'all rockin' with me, man. Shout out to all my subscribers. I appreciate all the support. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to hit that 10K mark. You already know what's up, so y'all be sure to subscribe, turn on post notification, like, and comment. Cause we about to go up, but yeah, man. In today's video, is this YouTubers who ruin their image with one single video. Honestly, this is my first time seeing this video, and you know, y'all watch this video with me, cause it's gonna be my first time watching it. It's gonna be y'all first time watching it. These eight YouTubers did irreversible damage to their channel with one single video. And we're going to begin by talking about Jay Station, whose entire career came to an end as a result of an upload titled My Girlfriend Alexia Died, Rest in Paradise. What? Last night, we lost Alexia at around 11 p.m. I got a call from her parents telling me what happened. Jay Station stated that his girlfriend Alexia had gotten into a car crash and as a result had tragically passed away. Jay Station would also go and visit his girlfriend's memorial on the side of the road. This is actually the same road that she passed away on, guys. I'm getting so emotional just being on this road. Wait. Jay Station seemed so emotional that he could barely get out of the car to look. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, <clears throat> I'm not judging, I'm not saying anything. I just want to I just want to point out something. Why would you make a video? You you making a video, you're a YouTuber, but you about to go make a video. I guess you went to make video for the girlfriend that passed away and you wanted people to see you in a time like that. Oh, okay. 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 I guess that's, that's, it makes sense. Okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Let's just go say the final goodbye for her. Everything's gonna be okay. I don't know if I can do this. However, his extremely emotional state here ran contrary to a video that he posted three days later titled Dead Girlfriend Ouija Board Challenge at 3 a.m. Gone Wrong, in which he nah. couldn't stop smiling. Nah. We're doing the Ouija Board Challenge on my dead girlfriend. Let's smash the like button right oh. now, guys. One like what? equals one prayer for Alexia, oh. guys. Rest in peace. Jay Station's come along. Lack of emotion. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This man says smash a like for one prayer. I'm really blown that he's really like continuing it. People watching it, you know, but hey, teach his own. Teach his own in this new video led fellow Canadian YouTuber Some Ordinary Gamers to call the Canadian police and see if any Alexia Milano had recently passed away. No, I don't have anything by that name on the system. Nobody by that name specifically has suffered any form of death, right? No, I have an Alexia, as mentioned by the police officer, nobody by the name of Alexia had died. And after other channels such as Penguin Zero covered the story, Alexia came mm. forward to confirm that she was still alive. What? What? No. Oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nah. Uh-uh. Nah. Mm. Nah. Mm. How? Why, why? Why you out here faking your death? YouTube paying you. Why are you faking your death? And I'm sure the, I'm sure y'all channel wasn't losing no traction, no nothing. What y'all thought y'all was gonna get a billion views? Oh man, that's crazy. Alexi is alive. <laughs> Bruh, I, look. If anybody that I support and I like fake they deaf and then they come back out and say I'm gonna be really mad yeah all right that makes sense and Jay and the videos that he posted Alexia would go on to explain that she had nothing to do with the Jay station videos I was not a part of any of them it was oh. just Jay and I didn't even know what he was gonna say in those videos oh. before he posted them and as right, a result right. the two had broken up right. I felt like it was just constantly right. being mean to me for some reason mm. at times he was mean to me it's just like he was so mean however Jay was showing Alexia helping out with the videos before trying Wait. to expose Alexia Wait. as being the crazy one Wait. Of the pair. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta take it back real quick. What she said about him being mean. What she said about him being mean. I gotta play this back real quick. I 
I was not a part of any of them. It was just Jay, and I didn't even know what he was gonna say in those videos before he posted them. Okay. And as a result, the two had broken up. I felt like he was just constantly uh, being mean to me for some reason. He, he, mean, me. he was mean to me. me. It's just like, he was mm. so mean. However, Jay Station then clapped back by showing Alexia helping out with the videos before trying to expose Alexia as being the crazy one out of the pair. You are honest to God crazy. I've been a good person to you, Alexia. You're trying to look online, everybody hates you, Jay. This one original video didn't only lead That's to crazy. the collapse of their relationship, but it would also eventually result in Jay Station's entire channel being deleted. Therefore, Jay Station probably should have gotten some advice from Sam Pepper, who had already ruined his image by posting an idiotic fake video. It went by the now infamous title Killing Best Friend Prank, and it began with Sam stating this. Let's see how he reacts to his best friend of five years being killed in front of him. The premise of the prank was that two friends get taken to a rooftop somewhere, where one of the friends who was in on the prank is shot with a fake gun to see how the other friend will react. Even though they eventually revealed that the whole thing was one giant prank, the absolute magnitude of the stunt helped it to go viral, racking up over 9 million views in a little over three weeks. Wow. But while the extremity of the video helped it to go viral, the prank also began to receive an unbelievable amount of backlash. It was obvious that Sam didn't care about the controversy in the beginning, as he'd respond to the drama by promising to delete his YouTube channel if he was donated 1.5 million on GoFundMe. Your goal's pretty steep here, 1.5 million dollars. <laughs> I just thought if everyone hates my channel so much, they gotta put that money where their mouth is, you know? Yet this only seemed to add more fuel to the fire, as he was still getting heavy backlash over three months later, at which point it became all too much to handle. Oh, man. Sam Pepper would not only delete the original prank, but he'd rather unlist every single video from his entire channel, leaving only one fresh new upload titled I'm Sorry, in which he'd come forward and explain that the video was fake. No wonder people hate me. Like, I've been an idiot. Like, I've been stupid. You know exactly what I'm going to say now. Of course, it was fake. However, the damage had already been done. And while Sam Pepper has since had some success on TikTok, his channel never really recovered after posting the best friend prank. Brooklyn's wow. channel never recovered either. As after she'd accidentally uploaded a video of her mistreating her dog, her reputation was destroyed permanently. In the lead up to posting the video, Brookhouse had gained 327,000 subscribers, no. which as you can see from the videos no. on her channel, had her pet Doberman named Sphinx. Brooke always put up the facade that she loved her dog more than anything else. Obviously me and my dog are really close, we're besties, we hang out 24-7, more like 25-8, am I right? However, less than a month after after stating this, on the 6th of August 2019, Brooke would accidentally upload a full uncut clip of her pranking the dog while treating it like absolute garbage. As the video began to spread throughout wow. social media, almost every single news outlet wrote an um. article on the story, prompting a change.org petition titled Pranking mm. the Dog. Hold on. Hold on. So, we got one dude decided to get in on with his girl and do a prank about her being dead, which it wasn't even a prank until they announced that it was a prank. And then we got another guy who did a dead best friend prank. And then we got somebody right here. Oh man, it's crazy, it's crazy while treating it like absolute garbage. As the video began to spread throughout social media, almost every single news outlet wrote an article on the story, prompting a change.org petition titled Ban Brooke House from YouTube, which received over 67,000 signatures. 67. People oh. also take to Twitter in a post hoping that she was banned from the platform, yet incredibly her channel remained active, helping her to post a bizarre apology video about a month after the original incident. First, I want to start this video by saying thank you. I just want to genuinely say thank you. Although this video did nothing to fix her image, as after taking a seven month break from the platform, she'd return with an upload titled Where I've Been, which received an impressively terrible 98% dislike ratio, solidifying just how much damage this one video had done. However, at least Brooke was never arrested for the controversy, oh. as when Count Dankula posted a two minute 23 second clip of his dog, he'd end up appearing in court. The video was. 
Stitch Fix. Yep. In April 2016, and the premise was as follows. Girlfriend is always ranting and raving about how cute and adorable her wee dog is. So I thought I would turn them into the least cute thing that I could think of. In order to achieve this, Count Dankula taught Crazy. his dog to perform a very controversial salute, with the video racking up 2 million views in the weeks after it was uploaded. Mm. Initially, the video was seen as a bit of comedic fun. However, on the 18th of February 2017, approximately 10 months Months later, Count Dankula would post a picture to Twitter confirming that he'd been arrested and would have to appear in court for posting the video. Five months later, wow. Count Dankula would take to Twitter once again stating, Trial starts tomorrow, no jury, only a judge. But it will be an open trial as in members of the public can attend. And as a result, many fans showed their support at the trial. However, this didn't seem to have any impact on the decision made by the judge who ruled Count Dankula guilty and ordered hmm. him to pay a $1,000 fine. The judge stated, as a matter of law, the test is not whether the video was offensive, but whether it was grossly offensive. I concluded that your video was Brilliant. not just offensive, but grossly so as well as menacing. menacing. Count Dankiller was able to overcome this hiccup and still maintains his popularity on YouTube up until this day. Mm. However, the same can't be said for the Try Guys member Crazy. Ned Fulma, whose entire career came to a crashing end after a single video was posted of Ned cheating on his wife. The girl in the video was fellow BuzzFeed employee Alex Herring, who had been in BuzzFeed videos with Ned before, and after the original screenshot of the two kissing went viral, a uh, bunch of other evidence surfaced to confirm that Ned and Alex had been seeing each other behind the scenes. The event was so scandalous not only because Ned, his wife, and Alex were all public figures, but because Ned's main shtick within the videos was that he loved his wife so much and was therefore extremely dedicated to the marriage. Ned was literally known as the wife guy and would constantly talk about his wife and how much he loved her, to the point where people have made compilations on YouTube of him mentioning her. As a result of the scandal, Ned was fired from his high status position as one of the Try Guys, which was followed by the group posting their own video to explain the decision. Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. We found that Ned had engaged in conduct unbecoming of our team, and we knew that we could not move forward with him. He's now been mm. fired and has publicly embarrassed his wife and two children. Turns out Mr. Nice Guy Dependable isn't so nice and dependable after all. Ned Fulmer had months to stop his eventual collapse. However, PewDiePie wasn't quite so lucky, as after making PewDiePie. a single joke in a single video, he'd accidentally changed the social media landscape forever. The video was titled, I've Discovered the Greatest Thing Online, and it was posted on the 11th of January 2017. The premise was that PewDiePie was testing out the website Fiverr. There's a website called Fiverr, where you basically can ask anyone for anything for five dollars. And therefore, as you might suspect, the video wasn't all that controversial in the beginning. He'd order a subscribe message from Jesus, pay to have his pictures photoshopped, and even had someone sing to him in Hebrew. However, it would be after PewDiePie ordered from the guys dancing in the jungle that things became controversial. As a part of the Fiverr deal, PewDiePie was given the opportunity to write a five-word message, which the guys would hold up on a sign in the video. Well, PewDiePie decided to have a bit of fun with it, and wrote an anti-Semitic phrase just to see if they'd do it. And as you can tell from PewDiePie's reaction, they most certainly did, leading PewDiePie PewDiePie to state this. I didn't think they would actually do it. I feel partially responsible, but just I didn't think they would actually do it. Like I'm not anti-Semitic or whatever it's called. Okay, so don't get the wrong idea. It was a funny meme and I didn't think it would work. Okay. Which was followed by the video being uploaded as usual. However, the response that the video generated certainly That's wasn't crazy. usual. As That's only crazy. three days later, articles began to pop up explaining that PewDiePie had been dropped by his Disney-owned multi-channel network. Upon seeing Disney drop PewDiePie, other advertisers such as Johnson & Johnson, the UK government, Coca-Cola, and Dr. Pepper removed all advertising from the platform, fearing that they might be put beside some unsavory content. In order to get these advertisers to return, YouTube That's introduced the demonetization of non-family friendly content, leading some creators to instantly lose more than half of their revenue. With us, our YouTube money was cut by more than 60%. PewDiePie has since made a pretty good argument for why the adpocalypse wasn't really his fault. However, there was definitely no argument that Ryan Taylor could That's make crazy. after he'd post a completely unhinged I didn't even video know that. titled Nerf War in Toys R Us. The video began with the explanation that Toys R Us was closing down permanently, and therefore it would serve as the perfect place to have a nerf war before they officially closed. However, for the exact same reason, the staff members seemed completely unconcerned about keeping their jobs and began to tackle the boys instantly. <laughs> Oh, 
after this exchange occurred, right. the conflict escalated further. You have no authority, bro, so I'll slam you back. Don't try and touch me, bro. Believe me, you're too funny. I don't know, bro. Okay, you're the best. Please be delayed. Bro, that's not gonna end good, I'm telling you right now. which eventually resulted in them being kicked out and wrecking half of the store in the process. The video most certainly received a mixed response. Some people saw it as a hilarious piece of entertainment, while others saw Ryan as nothing more than an idiot, messing with low-wage workers who were already about to lose their jobs. But That's while Ryan crazy. Taylor had some support for the controversial video, the same couldn't be said for Logan Paul, who quite possibly holds the gold trophy for the most damage done to a reputation as the result of one single video. Japan Forest Vlog. Three words that transport everybody back to the 31st of December 2017 when Logan decided that he wanted to have an unconventional New Year's Eve. Two years ago, I fell in love with the idea of, um, for New Year's, slowing it down, like going somewhere that's really isolated. So we're in Tokyo, Japan, right? I figured this was the perfect time to do it because if you look to my right, Logan, I give you the Aoki Gahara. Ooh. After deciding to camp in the forest, Logan and his crew found someone who had recently passed away. And while Logan was extremely serious in the beginning, it wouldn't be long before he began to make jokes. At this point in time, Logan was one of YouTube's most hated creators, so when he uploaded the video, it created the perfect storm for the entire world to pile on with criticism. The pressure put on Logan prompted the now iconic So Sorry apology. I've made a severe and continuous in my judgment. And while this video received over 62 60 million, million views, that's crazy. making it quite possibly the most well-known mistake in YouTube history, Logan was eventually able to repair his reputation using some very unique strategies. Hey man, as y'all can see man, lesson is do not do anything stupid and put it on YouTube man. Do not get out here and do some stupid stuff and put it on YouTube. You can literally generate a lot of money off YouTube, so why jeopardize this passive income that you can open up in your life? But yeah, man, that's my video, man. That's crazy. These YouTubers pretty much did what they did, you know, and honestly, they pretty much like the forefront faces of YouTube, really, when it come down to, you know, not now, but I guess a couple years ago, they was, you know, doing their thing, but man, yeah. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notification, man. More reaction videos coming. It's Jamal Way, man. I'm out. Let's go. Question that they ask, but I'm spazzing on their ass in my phone. I'm going fast. Fuck your questions, I'm a boss. I used to take hella losses. Now broke niggas, keep your distance. I ain't got